So, after the preamble, now we have to come to the main. This is the every every class at the beginning will show you what is the course title and where from it is being uh, it is being offered and who is offering this comes under this first slide right so here you see this is the preamb after the preamble now we come to the regular class so our topic or the subject is dairy and food process and products technology we have given in the preamble what we will be covering how we will be following and what benefit you will be getting so we now go to that right uh, one more thing let me also share with you that uh, this year our, our our recording system has a little change so nowadays we are using it a commercial thing right i i mean very very not commercial this is called we are using it very uh, sophisticated instrument right and i being older much older than you you can you can uh, navigate you can negotiate at your age uh, you can you can you can handle not only that you can you can also uh, do things much quicker faster than ours so the i may may land up sometimes in some problem so that time i'll ask and i'll 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 ask excuse from you so that uh, the necessary necessary management or necessary changes can be made however i will try my best not to land up with any such problem but this is in the beginning let i have shared with you right because everything will has or rather has been made much friendly to you this is not for us this is for you so that you face very minimum problem when you are going through the course repeatedly maybe through the through the videos then the video should be very very uh, friendly and uh, acceptable to you to for that this kind of again integration of the new new technologies our institute or our system has brought in right okay after the preamble now let us come to the level that what is food now the first question comes the what is food right i personally define of course in all books also you will find in a, in a same may not be in the same language everybody will tell right but the meaning is same that whatever you take through your mouth normally right i am not saying abnormally somebody is sick so that time his food is his or her food is given through some uh, nerve or through some injection so those things are different those are not normal so normal things are what do you take through your mouth yeah, for for the betterment of you for the nourishment of you for the maintenance of your body for the upskilling upgrading yourself which will help assist you is can be said to be a food normally people are which is uh, plenty available in the nature one is plenty available air free plenty available and another is also as of now free plenty available water right so air of course you never take you take not as a food but you take for some other, some other thing like you take it for your respiration right air is the respiration side basic component unless air is there you cannot respire right in that also when you are doing respiration if you come into that 
you will see there also food has a direct role. Because in the respiration it is not that air only if you take then you can respire and you can sustain, you can survive, it is not. Because the air is one component in that respiration, other component comes from the food. Because in the respiration what do we get? We, we take air, we get from our body through, me, through mechanism, the basic of the respiration that is the glucose. So, glucose is the basic of the respiration cycle and then this glucose is converted into carbon dioxide, water and energy. So, we get sufficient energy through respiration and that is where glucose is the primary, glucose is the primary uh, food which you have taken. You might not have taken directly glucose, but your body system has made glucose available for the respiration cycle, so that that is never disturbed. I often tell my students that nowadays everything is so much, the whole world is in your hand, because you have, you have, you have a laptop as well these pumped up and, uh, and, 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 and smartphones etcetera. So, the entire world is in with you perhaps. So, if you have seen that in many cases uh, in may different channels, TV channels, if these are coming that people are stuck in maybe at high altitude or maybe at a very remote place, there is no supply of food, no supply of water, nothing, but still they survive, right. So, though these are out of our syllabus, but we, we, this is a common knowledge, common sense that we must know. It is also indirectly coming, this is also indirectly coming. How it is indirectly coming? That you are stuck, maybe say high altitude around uh, Kanchenjunga at uh, that be, very high altitude, right? For some reason, you are a mountaineer and there you have no food with you, no people surrounding you, no food, no water, nothing. But still, maybe after 17 days, if the rescuer finds you, you may be alive. In many cases it has happened, you all know, how they could survive for such long. Because when it was required, your body system used to utilize your body because will come the basic nutrients, what are the basic nutrients required by the body, right. So, those basic nutrients were supplied by your body that is why you could have sub survived for such a long, right. So, coming back to that original, what is food? We say that anything which you are taking through your mouth as for the purpose of the benefit of yourself, your body, your mind, your entire thing growth for your growth, for your sustainability, for any and every cause, you are taking something which is directly or indirectly helping to sustain, to maintain, to improve, to generate energy, everything that is termed as food, right. So, that is what here we have said that one of the three basic requirements of mankind is that food, right. And this is the source of power of entire your system, right. So, what does it do? We have already said it is the source of nutrients and provides the energy required for all activities, for example, growth, 
repair of the damaged tissues, reproduction, sustenance, etc., whatever you can name, right? Anything that is required is called is called your uh, food that is required for the sustenance for the maintenance of your body that product which helps it is known as food right then availability right if you are aware of the world situation you will see that there are many people who are taking exotic foods, luxury foods, days in, day out. But there are also a good number of people who are not being able to even take a single meal a day. So, such a wide variation is there in the whole world. It is really pathetic that one is enjoying to the fullest and the other is su suffering again to the bottom part of the life. So, this discrepancy should be minimized. Who can do? You. You as food scientist, food technologist or food engineer, whatever you call it to be, because I am telling food that after it has come from the field, you are handling that and that comes under agriculture. That production of the food that comes under agriculture, that is not under your purview. Your purview starts from the point when it is harvested. That is why it is associated with the name of post harvest. Right? This can be with respect to plant origin, with respect to animal origin, whatever it be. Right? In animal origin, uh, if it is, then we call it to be slaughtered. Or, or, or it can be chopped or cut like fish you cut. You do slaughtering of the animals for meat, right? Similarly, poultry, eggs, all these hens, these all are under the post harvest. During its rearing or during its growth, that does not come under your purview. So, when you are getting it, that time you must be knowing that the availability of the food all over the world is not uniform. Somewhere exotic foods are available, somewhere basic requirement is also not available. Right? So, availability is the fundamental question all over the world as a food scientist or again engineer, if you are coming across, try to make it uniform, so that people all over the world do have minimum requirement of the food. Why? Because if somebody is getting excess, somebody is not getting at all, then the discrepancy comes here that the basic nutrients, because we are all living being. So, we need all the time some energy, some food material as the intake, right. That is what we are consuming and that is giving us the livelihood for surviving, right. So, what are those? So, they are called in a one term nutrients. So, there are six basic nutrients, right. One is fat, second is protein, third is carbohydrate, fourth is vitamins and minerals and 
uh, fourth is vitamins, fifth is minerals, and sixth, which we are saying that is you can also club vitamin minerals together, but okay, and sixth, which we do not give the due, due, due um, uh, uh, acknowledgement that that is the water. In your body system also you will see the majority is the water and when you come across with any food, any living thing like that, you will see that normally their range is around 60 to 80 percent or 90 percent is the water and rest of the things are other things. So, water has a very, very high role in maintaining your body, in improving your body, in your growth, in your sustenance, everywhere water is playing a very, very vital role. Either you are taking directly as liquid water or you might be taking through some other sources as we have mentioned as a food. Food also gives you some water, but still you need to supplement that by the body requirement uh, according to the body requirement some quantity from the external source other than food. So, the basic nutrients are six types carbohydrate, fat, protein, carbohydrate, fat, protein, minerals, vitamins and water. Right? So, these are six basic nutrients which are required by the body. That is why that food should be available to everybody for his or her living or sustenance. Right? Exotic food fine, some people may enjoy, many people may enjoy. If everybody all over the world could get as exotic food, nothing like that. But the disparity is so much that in one hand, one end we are getting exotic food we can afford to buy and other end some people cannot afford to buy, availability is also not there, both are true and they are really struggling. So, this disparity should not be there, it should be as minimum as possible. right? And I do not think we will give lecture on this, because this is not the uh, class for that, but at least awareness should be there that yes, it is it is mal distributed throughout the world. Then comes what does these nutrients do? Right? What does these nutrients do? So, let us take some example of different types of foods where all these nutrients are present. So, if we take 100 grams of food say in one case milk and in other case bread right in one case milk and in other case bread if we take then in milk we get water around 87 to 88 percent roughly because again milk is a when we we'll go to the milk itself, then we will see that there are many, many factors which are responsible whether it will be 87, 88, 90 or 85. So, it is having wide variety, but this is an representative number. right? So, you can have, so when it is 87, 88, so you have the in, in mind it will have 85 90 percent, it is not 15 20 percent, right. So, that is why representative sample number is given as 87 88 water. Carbohydrate around 4.5 to 4.9, somewhere that means carbohydrate is around 
say for 2.5. Fat around 3.3 to 3.8 per 100 gram edible milk, right? Milk is all uh, entirely thing edible. So, there is nothing that this part is edible, this part is not edible. So, around that protein it is around 3.5, vitamin minerals around 0.1 gram, right? If we take this as one end of the basic components of the nutrients available in one of the foods like say milk, the other one which also we take every day almost that is the bread. Another example I am giving that is bread it contains 40 percent water. Again some bread may contain 45, some bread may contain 35. Right. So, we are not going into that dispute. It is again representative sample, right. It tells that bread has around 40 percent. If somebody asks you, you will not say bread is 90 percent like milk, right, or milk is 40 percent like bread. So, that is this distinction to make, I have given this ex more or less to extreme. I am not saying they are absolutely extreme, but to almost different poles they are. So, milk around 85 90 percent, bread around 40 plus minus percent, water moisture is there. The role of moisture will come afterwards subsequently, so that is different, but it is like that. Okay. Then carbohydrate around 50, fat around 2, protein 1 and vitamins and minerals 1. Right? In milk it was 0 0.1 milli, 1 gram where in per 100 gram, whereas in bread it is 1 gram, I mean 10 times than that in milk. Protein it was 3.5 here it is 1 in bread, here fat it was around 3.5 plus minus, here it is around 2. Carbohydrate is around 4.5 in milk, here it is around 50, right, and rest is water. So, 40 percent is around water. Then the question comes, when this kind of dis discrepancy then that is why nowadays you have come across with one word many people have been saying. And one more thing as food what I said uh, in the preamble uh, here also suddenly it came to my mind before I managed to forget. Let me also tell this that nowadays I said now those by which we take through mouth those things for our betterment. Nowadays, if people are becoming so much, so much, uh, I do not say that uh, sick or ill or something like that, at least the, the, the urban places people are suffering a lot than definitely in the rural. So, what doctors do tell that do not take medicine as in the name of medicine because urban people they have lot of thought, lot of thinking, lot of work, lot of many other things. So, this will unnecessarily put up into stress. So, to avoid that stress doctors also do tell that please do not take your medicine if it is more in number say somebody is taking maybe a day 8, 10 medicines a day. So, he will think I am surviving on the medicine. No, doctors were saying that you take this medicines as food. You take this medicines as food because then the food which you are taking, okay, the milk has one name, bread has another name. This is also this capsule or that tablet that is also another. So, you take in that spirit, then you will not be under and the stress that you are taking meal, you are taking uh, medicine, you are sustaining on medicine, right. So, I again corroborate that 
those which we take for our betterment, for maintenance is the food. So, we have come that there are six basic nutrients the fat, protein, carbohydrate, minerals, vitamins and water and we have given two examples one with bread and another with milk showing wide variety. Sometimes okay, then what does this do? Then also this question we came right. Okay, we will come to that. Then food we said food have then I said earlier that if it is solid food not the liquid then we have two origins one is plant origin and another is animal origin. If it is from plant origin then they come under the umbrella of cereals like rice, wheat, corn etc. etc. Some legumes like soybeans and many others, some nuts like high fat cashew nut or high protein almonds, high carbohydrate chestnuts like that high protein almonds, high fat cashew nut, high carbohydrate chestnut these are available roots and tubers they are also under the family of plant origin. So, normally we do consume carrots, beets, radish, potato these are under the roots and tubers vegetables may be cabbage, onion, cauliflower many others do take we do take fruits may be banana, orange, apple all these are under the kingdom of animal origin. Then comes the other and, and by and large uh, by and large uh, in our country we do call these to be under the umbrella of vegetarian right any product any food uh, made out of this we call it to be vegetarian food or or right so the other category non vegetarian that comes under the umbrella of plant or uh, animal origin right obviously if it is animal origin then it comes under the umbrella of meat meat may be beef meat pork or lamb any such or chicken all these come under the meat then fish and when we are talking about fish one thing also we should know though this is beyond the uh, scope of the class but as information that fish is much better much assimil assimilable than corresponding meat. Because of many factors because of many reasons right fish is more this much at least we must know that fish is more assimilable in the body of human than that in the body of from the meat right uh, because all over the world there are all together different types of people right everybody has different constitution different uh, nature etc so the habit food habit cannot be identified cannot be identical also but even then it has been observed by the scientists that if it is from the fish origin then it is much more assimilable than that in the in the in the meat uh, from the meat itself right so in the fish again there are two varieties like fatty fish or lean fish or maybe some others like crustaceans right so, fatty fish obviously from the word it appears that the fish contains high fat right fit fish contains high fat, but if it is not that fatty fish if it is less fat then that is called lean fish. Lean fish has 
roughly less than around 2 percent fat and fatty fish as high as 20 percent fat. 20 percent fat is a very high quality quantity right. 20 percent fat is very very high quantity and again I am saying that the fat which comes from the fish is more assimilable than that from the meat. Even the proteins are also more assimilable than that in the from the other meat right. So, these are the two variable uh, varieties that is meat and fish and third one is under the category of poultry, but poultry that means which is being reared right, which is being reared may be at home or commercially that is different, but from there it may comes under the egg or hen right, chicken, duck, uh, then turkey all these which are which are being reared uh, at home or maybe commercially they come under the purview of the poultry right. So, poultry contains chicken, duck, turkey. So, all these foods they do supply these six basic nutrients which we have stated that fat, protein, carbohydrate, vitamin, minerals and water these are being supplied by these food material be it animal origin, be it plant origin right. But uh, as I, I was just referring earlier that nowadays you might have come across with one word all over that it should be taken as a balanced diet right. I, I, I go back to the case which I said somebody was trapped in some high altitude nothing was there. The reverse of that if knowingly if you give uh, somebody only fat the whole day no other thing only fat some other body a person only protein no other thing some third person only carbohydrate no other thing right will they survive obviously the answer is they will survive because our body system is such there are two types of reactions not too many one one can be categorized as chemical reaction and another is biochemical our body system whatever inside reactions are happening they come under the purview umbrella of the biochemical right any associated with bios are with this directly or indirectly right. So, our in those biochemical systems those where fat is only supplied this fat because our respiration as we said that the basic starting point is glucose. So, if it is glucose and if I am taking fat where from glucose will come and I am respiring every now and then every moment. So, glucose is all time required. So, body system through those biochemical systems biochemical reactions convert it to glucose. So, that respiration is continued same is true with the protein or carbohydrate also. If you do not take glucose directly if you take some other starchy material then also that is being converted to glucose and then only we can we can sustain we can we can take respiration right. So, this means that the basic things are all these six nutrients, but the 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 combination of them in a judiciary manner in a in a better way that is why that thing came that you should have a balanced diet. So, that it is supplying everything to the body, body does not have to do 
unnecessarily. As I gave the example fat to this glucose, body had to make that system. So, maybe some other required things it could not do. That is why if we supply the due thing that is the balanced diet to the body, then the person should be perfectly all right. Okay? So, let us stop it today here. We will start next day, next hour. Thank you.